Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial we will be talking about the cell motility. Now single cell organisms are motile, they are moving from one place to another place. So cell motility is always there. Now what is this cell motility and how a cell be is becoming motile? So let us talk about that. Now in this case cell motility is a process sequential stages of four different stage if you can divide. So first stage of, of cell motility here is uh, the process of uh, of extension extension now obviously extension of what now for cell to to be motile and uh, for cell organelles to be motile the most important thing required for that are motor proteins inside of the cell and also some other structural proteins or cytoskeletal elements now inside the cell the cytoskeletal element most of the time are made up with uh, actin filaments and the motor proteins are made up with kind of kinesin dynein and myosin these are the other proteins that are helping organelles normally to move but also for the whole cell movement we will be seeing the importance of myosin because remember this acting and myosin coordination is the thing that we observe for our muscle contraction and all these things the sliding filament theory and everything and in this case also motility of cell we are going to see the coordination of actin and myosin which is also important now extension of what obviously extension of the terminal region of the cell which is having uh, this actin filament network right so for understanding that you must understand the cell and how the cell looks like normally let's say this is a cell that uh, we are talking about and this is the part here comes the cells nucleus and in the region we call it a cell body which is surrounding the region this is a cell body and this this section which is filled with actin filament proteins filled with actin filaments right totally filled with actin filaments and these are the section that is called lamellae body uh, lamellae body here is there right and this is the cell body right these are the two different sections of a cell according to the mo mobility view or motility view okay now what happens there, this lamellae region or lamellae body region, this is filled with kind of actin filament proteins, filled with actin, actin filaments. And another type of protein that is required for the motility which is called myosin is present in the cell body. Myosin is present in the cell body. Now the actin myosin coordination is very very important for any movement not only actin can provide the movement actin can provide a structural ness and also it can provide a shape to a type of cell but it is not responsible for the movement for the movement it requires something to slide onto the surface of actin and the sliding is done by the myosin in that case which is having a two arm of myosin using that arms it is dragging the actin and moving it in accordingly okay so it is there and myosin is present in this region so let us draw myosin in this so myosin is present in the terminal region of the cell body here right so actin myosin closely related now the first part of the movement is extension the extension of obviously extension of the actin filament right so extension of actin means Actin are small molecules, small protein molecules, they are added one after another, the process called actin polymerization. Now due to this actin polymerization, it start to make a large, large region, right? So as the actin start to polymerize, remember it is start to pushing, it is start to push this outer region a little bit because they are kind of, it's just like you are creating pressure, applying pressure on the membrane of the cell by actin bridge, right? So actin polymerization is there actin is so small actin molecules start to polymerize like this way and it is creating the pressure right and this pressure is tight is slightly occurring onto the cell membrane so it is getting extended so extension is done by actin proteins now the second thing here the second stage of the process here now extension of actin now the second thing here is the adhesion now once the extension step is done, there are several points present in the cell membrane of cells. Several points. Let's say this is a point. 
which are called adhesion points they spe specifically designed i'm not going to talk about the details but they are specifically designed to be adhered to speci specific region and cell adherence is something which is least talked in all the cases and you probably found very less about it only research articles all these things but there are several points that are present they are called adhesion points in cell are specific for adhesion onto different surfaces whether solid surface most of the time solid surface so they will adhere to some region once the adhesion is there the third important stage for this process occur and the third stage here is here is the myosin translocation so translocation of the cell by myosin actin crosstalk by myosin actin crosstalk right so translocation is there by myosin actin crosstalk so translocation so myosin here which is present in this region and actin is present there so myosin and actin are cross talking that is myosin is moving onto the actin and is sliding through the actin so as as it is sliding through the actin this cross talk is now helping this cell to migrate migrate means not in that sense walking it means so the process of of i am i'm i'm looking at this process like like if this is the cell right the the region suppose the extension is there so normally the cell this is the cell this is the surface normally the cell is there now it's slightly extended here stretch itself right once it is there remember stretchy because of the actin polymerization it is reaching here from here it is reaching here once it is reaching there right then the myosin is start moving and as myosin start moving the, the all of this cell body or of the cell body is migrating towards that direction so cell body is migrating towards that direction now the cells ac actual process or first thing to be translocate is the cell body because that's the most important point of the cell so they are moving the cell body in this direction then once this process is done and this moving of cell body into a direction is possible due to the movement of myosin through actin bridge because actin is creating the line actin is creating the bridge using the actin these myosins are working and as the myosins are working cell body is moving once this process is done the final stage occurs that is the re adhesion right so what happens here so once it is reaching and it this place right in that case every cell body is migrated then remember there are two touch point now one point is here another point in the previous locations now it will release this previous point as it is releasing the previous point the stretch remains it's just like elastic rubber stretched out to this location so now it is being in this place similarly then again stretch extension addition two point crossing the translocation release extension addition translocation release so in this way it is moving like this right so this is the way of moving using this actin filament and myosin right so that's it guys thank you